Hi, so recently I did a video on the Branson Ultrasonic Cleaner versus the Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner, and I was talking to you a little bit about why I prefer the Crest to the Branson Cleaner. So today I want to use a real-world example. Now, as I said in that video, I no longer own the Branson. I actually sold the Branson away to somebody else, and that somebody else wound up getting it broken, so we filed an insurance claim on it, and we refunded them, and that was that. There's no more Branson. So I didn't really have anything to do an example with. And I actually found this board while I was cleaning up my office. It's actually a board that belongs to me. I had little hope for it ever working again because it looked really, really, really nasty, but since it was one of mine, I figured I might as well throw it in the cleaner just to see what it would do. And I want to show you what the Branson cleaner left on it. Now, I remember since I knew that this board had virtually no hope and I was just throwing it in there just, just for the hell of it to see how it would work, that I actually wound up leaving it in that cleaner uh, with, with the heater inside of it for about a half hour. So this is about a half hour of Branson ultrasonic cleaning, and what I got looked like this. You can see that it cleaned the board. Let me just do this and uh, get this to be nice and an even focus. So some stuff it cleaned. That Majewell dongle needs a new USB port. That's why it's blinking. And then some spots look like this. Again, this is a little bit expected on a board that looks like complete crap, but one of the things that I want to get across here is that the crest would not leave this. And again, one of the things that I was arguing about with so many people, not really arguing because I don't care. Again, I don't get paid by crest. I don't get paid by these companies. And above all, if you guys start fixing things as well as I'm fixing things, I mean, that, that, that's like competition. So, I mean, why do I even really care to argue? But I shouldn't even use the word argue. But when, uh, when I was debating with people about this, they would go, all oh, these things are the same. You're wasting money on that machine. I can't believe you spent seven hundred something dollars on that machine when you could have gotten the same thing for $100. You're all idiots. Well, this, this was not put into a cheap machine. That's what I want to point out. This board was not put into a cheap cleaner. This board was put into a $1,200 cleaner by a top tier company. Now I want to show you what happens when I put that board into the crest over here, which costs, I would say, a good, about, uh, I would say like a few hundred bucks less. Now again, the thing I want you to realize with this is it's, it's a, hundred, a few hundred bucks less because it's smaller. Uh, the Crest and the Branson are almost very, very, they're very, very close in price if you actually buy matched machines. So keep in mind, I still remember keeping that board in there for 30 minutes, right? That was 30 minutes what you saw. We're going to keep that board in there now for just a few minutes. The thing is set to three. I'm probably going to take it out even before then just to show you what it looks like. And we'll see again which one of these is better. Why is it that I'm always talking about Crest ultrasonic cleaners versus other brands of ultrasonic cleaners? Now again, I'm all I'm open to the idea. I know a lot of people. As this is one of the things I noticed about getting 10,000 subscribers, is my, is every single one of my subscribers now knows everything. It's that that must be the number. Like you get to 10,000 subscribers, and now everybody knows everything. Like a recent comment on a video I did was, "You should have let the customer know before you fixed the board. The screen was bad." And it's like, yeah, they sent it in for board repair, and they prepaid for it but pretty cool thanks for knowing everything again like I, I'm, I'm always the asshole um I, I understand that with this thing over here that i the, the realistically the right way to do it would be to have two boards with identical corrosion on them and put each one into each cleaner for identical times that's the scientific method that's the proper way to do it i don't know how to liquid damage two boards identically honestly i don't know how to make two boards identically liquid damaged and honestly <laughs> I don't want to take two of my own boards that work and try to fuck them up because that's, you know, 700 bucks down the drain. That's a 2012 or 13 air board. That, that's worth some money. I don't, I don't want to just fucking break it for a YouTube video. I don't make, like, again, yeah, I, I make $8,000, $10,000 a month off of YouTube. I'll start breaking shit. I'll start doing giveaways and all that stuff. But now, no. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to keep that in there for a few minutes. And I, get, I know that this is not the scientific method. I know the scientific method is to take, is to have the exact same setup, the exact same everything. And for me, that, that, that's not practical. So again, keep in mind, that board spent 30 minutes in a Branson ultrasonic. Within 30 minutes, that's pretty much as good as that ultrasonic's ever going to do. It's not going to clean that anymore at minute 28 than it did at minute 29 than it will at 30. Again, it's, it's the same thing. This machine, I'm putting that board in there for three minutes, and let's see how it comes out. So we're, we're, we're uh, coming up on the end of minute three. So this has spent 10% as much time in the Crest as it did in the Branson. And the Branson one that I'm comparing is that that went into the CPX 5800 or the 5800 CPX. It's the two and a half gallon Branson that has the degassing and the digital timer and the heater and all that good stuff. 
So any minute now, this thing should blink. Also, keep in mind that after I put it in the Branson to dry it, I put it in the alcohol bath and then in the oven. Here, I'm honestly not even going to bother doing all that. I'm going to show it to you just straight out of here, which means getting a bunch of ultrasonic cleaning liquid on my desk, which I'm not really looking forward to, but I'll do it because you guys deserve it. You guys deserve to see it. So we're almost there. And also because I'm just kind of impatient and I don't feel like waiting all day for it to dry. That's my air conditioner leaking onto my air filter. All right. So now we're going to do this the professional way, which is holding my breath because I don't want to inhale any of this shit. You really shouldn't inhale any of the steaming ultrasonic fluid with the boiling water that's coming out of your cleaner. Okay, we're going to pick it up with the tweezers from one of the holes. <laughs> Yuck, I hate ultrasonic cleaning fluid. I'll wheel it over here. I hope that my mage well dongle has not died yet. <sighs> Put it down on my paper towel. <sighs> okay, I'm not toothbrushing this thing. I'm not cheating. I'm not taking Q-tips or anything like that. I'm putting a paper towel on my desk so that this corrosive shit does not start eating through it and getting on my desk onto things that I use and eating my brain and eating my hands and that would, that would be very, very bad. Okay. See all that grain in the background of the picture? You see how the board is, you see all that green shit running around? You see how it's blinking? It's major wall capture hardware. Okay. See that shit? Do you see this shit? This is the board that had that fucked up blue crap all over it. It's gone! Yeah, blink more, you piece of shit. This is what you get when you buy Mage Roll Capture Hardware from China. This is what you get. Anyway, see this? Look at this. Look at this board. Look at this thing. Look, that is fucking clean. It looks perfect. And this is what I'm talking about with investing in your business. Do you think that board with all that blue crap on it would have worked? No. And again, this is a, the reason that this is so important is that's not even a cheap cleaner. We're not even, I'm not even getting into cheap versus expensive. This costs less money. It's just, it's just, it's a good device. It's something that you should have. It's something that you should have in your repair store. And you know, again, if you're, and again, if the, if the good cleaner, if the good cleaner can screw up like that from Branson, because again, Branson is a top name in ultrasonic cleaning. The fluid in that thing is from Branson. If Branson can screw that up, can you imagine how the little jewelry cleaner that you spend 50 or 100 or $200 is doing? Hey, this is a real life example. That thing spent 30 minutes in a Branson ultrasonic cleaner and it came out looking like cock and balls. It spent three minutes in that crest and it came out looking beautiful. So that, that's really it. You know, again, I, I don't, I'm not arguing because I get paid by them. I want you to avoid the mistakes that I've made. I want you to avoid all the pitfalls that I fell into. And if you want to do that, that's great. You don't, if you don't care, then you know, you're welcome to figure this stuff out on your own as I have over the past 17 years.